I want us to talk about the um, the events that took place today, the sad events that took place today. One that uh, the fact that Bobby Wayne's cameraman was shot and he's in a critical condition. And the other one, the fact that Bobby Wayne's bodyguard was thrown over by a police truck and he passed away. First of all, uh, my condolences, our condolences to the family of the deceased, uh, condolences to the People Power Fraternity, our brothers and sisters in struggle, uh, opposition at large, uh, because um, these are the people who have sacrificed their lives for, for all of us who are in Uganda, physical, and those of us who are there spiritually. It is a sad moment. Uh, it asks us a lot of questions as parents and future parents and we, when we look at our kids what do, what do we have to tell them because a person was driving and the person was shooting there's someone is son so and there may be there's someone is parents and the other person they're shooting is someone is son and someone is parent but uh in moments like these, I ask Ugandans a question that I have not gotten an answer to. How did we get here as a people? These things, these episodes, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a student of history, though I do I love math. Uh, make me think, I may be wrong. Uh, that this is one of the reasons why slavery and uh, colonialism they were such a successful project they were successful projects do you know what they used they used chiefs and leaders of them do you know the chiefs of today that signed they all are forced to sign these agreements with the colonialists. Uh, to you guys uh, who are watching us, uh, let me brief you. Uh, uh, slavery started long way back, more than 400 years. It lasted, that is, United States. But they, uh, I'll bring you something which is a bit close. That is uh, uh, from Berlin Conference, that certain uh, Berlin, uh, German. 1885, they agreed that uh, let us gun scramble. Africa. Uh, they scrambled it and uh, that is how it looks. There were German territories, Belgian and Britain territories. French was among those people. Uh, they shared it the way it is. But today, one of the reasons why Ugandans, innocent like uh, Frank, are murdered by those who are supposed to protect them. It's because there is a scramble of Uganda. We've seen many times in the current Uganda someone called RDC, that is the title, whatsoever he is, standing in front of a camera putting on a yellow pant, a yellow t-shirt carrying a logo of an NRM oh and they say that uh, I do not going to allow people power or NUP to come to my area that is how we have degenerated. That is how Uganda has been scrambled. Related with the scramble and the petitioning of Africa. Those of you who have studied history, you know these things. That's why people feel like 
you should not come here if you cross this line we're going to shoot you it happened in kayunga it happened in uh, jinja it happened in uh, chotela they yesterday they shot bob and his car again but africans then at least for once they were united by the hard times they were going through though they were divided by their approaches to the problems i'll take you to the, one of the guys the great people africa received kwame nkrumah the first uh, prime minister of ghana the father of national african 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 nationalism uh One of his speeches, very first speeches in AU, the current African Union, he asked Africans, leaders then, that we should not leave this place without a joint United States of Africa. He was ahead of his time. He told them that having, since he had studied in a, uh, United States maybe he was he had a different vision and one of the cause, causes of his downfall is the his donation 10 million dollar donation to one of the genie current genie or Sierra Leone I mean, if, you may excuse me if i've forgotten the specific country he asked them that we should join why am i using this example let me bring it home it is in moment like this we forgive and forget it is moments like this when we swallow our envies our pride and come together this message is going to stay to you opposition if you are genuine genuine and your opposition you should be the first person to go and join with honorable chagulany at least now like the africans who existed before the independence between 1885 and the 1960s were united by one thing their sufferings can't we get united because of the killings that the government it is a justifiable reason it is a selfish reason because this is going to be a survival moment that we all in because when i look at uganda i ask myself who of us is hopeful and i find ourselves as as hopeless as my seven as hopeless as me jk as hopeless as you who's watching me we are all hopeless as long as we feel like the only way we're going to solve competition the political competition the criticism is by killing the other this is not going to end it will not end allow me to stop here but opposition and ugandans at large let us find a justifiable selfish reason why we should join and say enough is enough to this kind of injustices hey guys if you've managed to get this far in this video please we thank you for that and we also say can you please subscribe Please subscribe to our channel. 
so that you give us more energy to make videos like this and please we plan to get more programs and more people on this channel but you have to give us that energy by subscribing and near a subscription button there is another arrow which is a share button please can you share our videos after watching